in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create four 3d options infographic slide in powerpoint and this is how the slide works when i click you can see here i have created this four different color object or looks like a 3d object here and you can add your headline and when i click the first icon comes and then you can add your title and the detailed text then on my second click the second option comes the third option fourth option and you can see here i have added some shadow effect uh, at this bottom also and if you're not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this qr code and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes Select the rounded corner rectangle, draw the rounded corner rectangle by holding the shift key. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease the size and you can see the small orange point. I'm just going to drag this outside. So make it a little bit curve at the corners shape outline. I'm going to make it no outline. Then holding the alt and the right arrow key, I'm going to rotate this shape. Okay. So hold the alt and the right arrow key. You can see here something like this. All right now the next thing which i'm going to add one rectangle all right select the rectangle draw a small rectangle this much size shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some different color make sure to align center align middle and then again alt and two times i'm going to make it the uh, alt and the left arrow key if it is not then i have to make it one more time so three times i'm going to do press ctrl d to duplicate again align center align middle and then again alt one two three four five six six time i'm going to make it the right arrow key the alt and the right arrow key okay so i end up getting a shape something like this so now i'm going to duplicate this slide all right so in case something goes wrong so that we have a a backup slide okay so for that reason i made a duplicate slide now i'm going to select this slide press ctrl a to select all the objects go to the shape format merge shape and select the fragment so we end up getting a shape something like this now the outer this particular objects i'm going to select and delete one by one we can see here and you can see here we have got all different objects okay you can see that one all right so even this also i'll delete it now i'm going to give a different color combination for each so select this option right mouse click go to format shape under fill you can just choose any color of your choice so i'm going to choose uh, which is the the golden color and here i'm going to choose uh, maybe this color a kind of a red or a pink you can call it and then i'm going to use some dark this plum color and here i'm going to use some color which is the teal color okay and the one which is in the center i'm going to choose that as a white color okay select as a white and here also in the center with the help of i'm just dragging the mouse and this also color i'm going to choose as a white all right so i end up getting a shape something like this now press ctrl a to select all the objects ctrl g to group it so it is one group now now i'm going to give a 3d format for that you need to go to the effects go to the 3d rotation from the presets i'm going to select this one which is the perspective relax moderately so i got a shape something like this and go to the 3d format and i'm going to give the depth maybe as 40 right so you can see here it looks something like this and if you like to bend it further you have to go to again 3d rotation you can see here x y z rotations you can try a different rotation here you can see here if i make this one it will rotate like this here you can see here i can rotate if i want further i can just you can see here so depending on the requirement you can adjust this one all right so maybe i need this much all right and then i'm going to the material and the lighting you can see here lighting i'm going to choose maybe this one two point so it becomes more darker you can see here all right so you can see we have created a shape something like this and now we need to add few more shapes at the background 
so again if you want to give more depth you can give more depth also i've given 40 you can increase it also or you can just change it you can see here maybe further or maybe like this let it be okay then go to insert shapes i'm going to select again this rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle all right maybe this much size make sure that a little bit outside of uh, the the particular diamond shape should be a little bit outside of this rectangle and this small this curves i'm going to make it more you can see i drag this outside shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give this light gray color and then send this to back all right now again this also i'm going to cut it the similar fashion what i did here so i'm going to select this one control c bring it here control v okay uh, we need to increase the size of this one you can see here i'm just going to increase the size and zoom out a little bit and i'm going to put one here all right something like this i can make it and press ctrl d to duplicate and rotate it the other side you can see something like this all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape i'm not going to select this colorful uh, uh, diamond shape okay i'm going to select this rectangle hold the shift key select this uh, small uh, rectangle and this one okay in the and then go to and one more thing sorry i have to add one more in the center so let me just duplicate this all right make it straight line something straight like this and this also i can increase the size so actually i have to use three not two okay so i'm selecting this one this one this one and this one with the help of the shift key and without selecting the center one okay merge shape again fragment it all right now again i don't want this one you can see here i'm just deleting this part and this particular color i can give this as a white you can see here i'm just giving this as a white color and the center also this also i'm going to give white all right and the center one i can select and delete this i don't need so i'm going to select all these six different shapes and send this to back so you can see here i have end up like this and this also i'm going to select these shapes this also i have to send this to back all right so we got a shape which looks something like this all right again if you want to delete also you can delete this also i need to give a white color yeah okay so you can see here we have got this shape now it's very easy if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can go to insert icons and you can add uh, some different icons so i'm going to randomly select four different icons click insert and move it aside and the height and width i'm going to make it maybe 0.6 and color i'm going to give as white and then one by one i'm just going to put it at the corner of each option you can see here it looks like this okay if you want to give some shadow effect you can give some shadow effect and again in the center i'm going to add one more diamond shape so from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this diamond shape hold the shift key all right and put it like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill and select the white and here also you can add some uh, text here okay and then go to insert text box you can add title here make this as bold and then go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one uh, some latin text I don't want this much long text I'm going to delete it some part reduce the font size give some different color if it is not visible you can give some dark color here all right let me just zoom out yeah press ctrl D to duplicate 
and start putting the objects on each you can see here the text we have to put it like this and then you can add some basic animation effect for this particular design 